Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where skincare is all about progression over perfection because perfection doesn't exist. And welcome back to another When Beauty Turns Ugly. As always, I'll be doing my skincare routine. All the products I'm using today can be found in the description box down below. Listen, have you ever heard that, I guess, rumor that popping a pimple, popping a spot can actually kill you? Or like the myth of the triangle of death? What if I told you that, um, that wasn't a myth, it wasn't a rumor. The possibility of dying from popping a pimple is actually quite real. All will be explained, demystified maybe, and possibly debunked in today's video. So my TikTok isn't skincare videos at all. It's dogs, it's um, horror, and it's true crime. And a few weeks back, this video, which went very viral, popped up on my feed. Let's listen. I died after squeezing a pimple that was on my face. My name is Beatrice. I'm from Santa Catarina, Brazil. I'm the 18-year-old who died this week after going to the hospital after squeezing a pimple. After being bothered for days with a huge pimple on my face, I decided to squeeze it. And that's when I signed my sentence because later I would lose my life. And I'm going to cut it short there because this isn't a real story. You know, my thoughts when seeing this was that's horrible that they're using AI to kind of animate a dead girl to tell the story of her death. However, when I looked on the actual profile, they are made up stories, they're AI generated images, it's not real. However, I do have a sneaky suspicion that this story was based on a real person. So what is the triangle of death. Well, according to Dr. Amish Adalja, a board-certified infectious disease physician, the triangle of death is a slang term for the area of face which includes the tip in between your eyebrows, down to your nose, all the way down to the corners of your mouth. Dr. Adalja says that this area is connected via blood vessels to your skull, where infections can spread more rapidly and become very serious and almost deadly. Now, I am aware of this term before, mainly because it is a popular, like, kind of skincare topic, but also because I get filler in um, the tip of my nose, and the bridge here, just to get rid of a bump. So with any good injector, anyone doing a consultation, we'll let you know of all the important uh, vessels, passageways, veins, whatever you wanna call them, arteries, I don't know if arteries are in there, that could cause complications. Now, so that's why it's important to go see someone who does hold a medical license of sorts, because first of all, they know where to avoid, but if they do hit anything, they are immediately able to reverse that. However, popping a spot isn't sticking a needle on your face. So how on earth can popping a spot in that area, in the triangle of death, put you in hospital or even worse, kill you? So if this area of your skin is broken, you've picked at a spot, you've scraped it, bacteria can enter your body and because it's so close to your brain, can lead to a number of complications. Now, luckily we live in a modern time where antibiotics are a thing. If you catch the infection quick enough, it means these deaths are extremely rare, extremely rare, but not impossible. Even if you don't pick in the triangle of death, if you pick somewhere on your face, it could still lead to death. Just like Garrett Mullins, who at the time was 17 and he's from Newport, he was lounging around, binge watching TV, just like, just like you do, you know? And I don't know about you, but when I have this awful habit of like rubbing my nose or like picking my skin when I'm just like lounging around doing nothing, and he was doing the same, but he noticed a spot that was coming up just like, around here on his neck. And just like he's done many, many times before, he decided to pop that spot and have a good pick. And that was it really, until 24 hours later, when he noticed a more sizable bump in the area where he had picked that spot. So he went to the doctor, not thinking much, thinking, oh, I've just like really irritated my skin. Maybe the spot is just like coming back with a vengeance. However, after a few minutes of being at his GP, the doctor gave him a quick once over, called an ambulance. I was like, you immediately need to go to the hospital. Because after that little investigation and hearing just how fast Geraint's heartbeat was, the doctor was like, this is sepsis, like you need to go to the hospital. Sepsis, according to the NHS, is a life-threatening reaction to an infection, but what made this particular case so dangerous, like we mentioned earlier, this area still here is connected to the skull via blood vessels, leading to a possible quicker infection and leading to death. And all this 
came from popping a small spot. Luckily, Geraint's father was actually the paramedic who answered the 999 call, and he said 911 then, 999 call from the doctor. So he knew that that was his son. So he rushed to the doctors, rushed his son to the hospital, where he had two surgeries just to drain this abscess, as well as two blood transfusions. In four days, Geraint's life had gone from just lounging around, picking a spot, to fighting for his life in hospital because he picked a spot. Now he was extremely lucky because here in the UK, over 44,000 people die each year from sepsis. Of course, this was an extremely, extremely rare case and not even in the triangle of death. However, there were stories of an unnamed 19 year old from China, only reported in the media as Yang. And again, Yang was at home just minding her own business when she noticed a very red dot on the tip of her nose. And again, like any other spot she had before, she gave it a little squeeze, it popped and she thought nothing of it. However, just a few minutes after popping this spot, she felt a really sharp, like consistent pain under her right eye, like a real hard pressure. After complaining about this to her parents and suddenly developing a fever, they decided to take her to the hospital right away. And she was seen by Dr. Han Kun, Deputy Director of the Department of Neurology. And in an interview with the Ningbo Evening News, he said that she had a continuous fever of 39 degrees Celsius, that's 102 Fahrenheit, while shown signs of developing meningitis, saying her life could have been in danger if she hadn't got to the hospital quicker. So not only did picking that spot give her some serious infections, possibly developing meningitis, but the doctor also says that that pain, that pressure behind her right eye, came from blood clots forming under the eye, which if not treated could have turned into blindness, paralysis, and even death. Again, all from picking a spot. She was given antibiotics, she was fine. I mean, she was rushed to the hospital pretty quickly, but that wasn't the case for a YouTuber called Lauren Leo Brick. She posted like a good old fashion story time video. And when I saw the title of this one, talking about how popping a pimple nearly killed her, I was like, is this some kind of like over the top Tanamojo esque kind of fake story time? But no, it's very, very real. Popping a pimple nearly killed her. Can you guess where that pimple was? Right at the tip of the triangle of death. At this time, Lauren was in high school and lucky for her, she mentions that she always really had very clear skin. Like it's never been an issue for her, but she did get the odd pimple pop up. So when she saw this pimple pop up just in between her eyebrows, no, it was like to the left or the right or something. She was like, I'm gonna do what I always do, pop it. Now we know popping spots isn't the right thing to do, but we'd be lying. If, if we denied that we'd ever done that ourselves. You know, we've all made some skincare mistakes before. She was like, oh my God, this is too big. It's so obvious. I need to pop it and get rid of it. However, when she went to pop it, it was a little harder than usual. She said that she, when she usually pops spots, you know, you get like a little bit of pus that comes out, but this didn't happen. She said it was so hard to pop that she put so much pressure on the spot to pop that it went really, really red and kind of developed this like white ring around it. And because of the sheer amount of pressure that she was putting on this spot, she had actually taken off a chunk of skin as well. We've all been there. Well, I've been there. I've been there. She also mentioned that it was incredibly painful. Like it wasn't any other spot she's had before. It was incredibly painful. The next day she had to go to school and she was like, no, I really want a day off. I can't handle having this spot. Just like any normal kind of like high school insecurities, you know, but it wasn't actually just because she had a spot and she didn't want people to see that she had a spot, her eye had actually swollen as well. So much so that when she got to school, her friends had asked her if she was okay, because it looked like she'd been punched in the face. After getting so much attention and so many questions in school, she said that actually really upset her. She was like, why is everyone commenting on this spot? She went home and she was like, I have to get rid of this. I have to get rid of this. So she tried popping the spot again, trying to see if any kind of pus would come out, if she can just make it look less worse. And again, nothing happened. She goes to bed. The next morning, she wakes up and her face looks like this. She, she sees her reflection in the mirror and starts to cry and she goes to see her dad. And her dad was like, oh my God, let's get you to the doctor. After telling the doctor what she had done to cause this swelling, the doctor did like a little test and told her that she has cellulitis. Now this is an infection when bacteria gets into the deeper layers of skin. So for example, you've tried to pick a spot, you've taken some of the skin off, you get an infection that can spread very, very quickly 
Again, we're right near the skull and can be life-threatening if not taken care of pretty immediately. She had a fever, she was throwing up all because of this infection. They took some blood samples basically to make sure she didn't need a blood transfusion because of this infection. They gave her some antibiotic cream because luckily it hadn't spread that far and the cream was able to heal and stop the infection. I mean, honestly, horrific for her. And these are all examples of just how close to death you can come from picking at the triangle of death. Now, I wrote this script three, four months ago, and like many scripts, they kind of sit in a folder and don't really come to light, but I have had to make a really unfortunate um, addition to this script, which is why I'm now posting it, but we do have an example of a death caused by picking a spot. This is the Millie Beatrice. She was an 18-year-old from Brazil. And around June of this year, she had been complaining of having a really stiff neck, along with a, what she said was a painless pimple on her face. And she did what anybody else would do, really. Um, she got a hot water bottle, took some um, pain medication, and kind of just got on with things, you know? She was planning on maybe getting like a, um, a deep tissue massage, just to kind of help relieve some of the pain she had been experiencing around her neck. However, the hot water bottle seemed to be making the pain subside a lot. However, the pain did start to become pretty unbearable, and that's when she decided to go to hospital. She was quickly discharged, however, because the hot water bottle had been causing some relief to her. However, the next day she woke up with um, a pretty swollen face and was immediately taken back to the hospital by her mum, where she was further examined. And the article that I was reading, which I did have to translate, said that they ran some tests on her. It doesn't really say what test they ran, but it was found that she had extremely low blood pressure and sepsis. So the day that she was taken into ICU was a Sunday. And unfortunately by Monday, she had passed away. It was promptly discovered that it was a broken pimple on her face that had led to her sepsis, which had led to her death. Infectious disease specialist, Sabrina Sabino, explains that the bacteria that caused the Millie's death was nothing more than a microorganism that colonizes the skin. However, it could be worsened when there is some type of injury to the skin. She goes on to say that the bacteria has a few names, including MRSA, which is resistant to antibiotics such as penicillin. This means that some more common antibiotics are not able to treat this infection. The hospital where Demilly passed also posted a statement saying, we at Hospital Santa Isabel confirmed that the cause of death of young Demilly Beatrice was due to the worsening of her health condition due to the bacteria MRSA. This bacterium can be found in non-hospital environments and its entry point into the body can be through any lesion. We regret the patient's death. Now it's unclear where exactly this popped pimple was other than her face, but from the sounds of it, it doesn't necessarily matter. Again, this is all an extremely rare occurrence, like very, very rare, even in the triangle of death. Treatable infections when caught quickly seem to be the more common occurrence, a very rare common occurrence from this kind of injury, pimple popping. It just sounds like popping your pimples in general here is not the best thing to do. But it does sound like, although very rare, it's not impossible that picking a spot can lead to infections or something more serious. So please be very, very careful. My personal favorite thing to do if I do have an area of skin that I can't stop picking, pop a pimple patch over the top of it, any of it, any of them, they're all the same. Get something you can fidget with while you're watching TV so you don't start touching your skin. But again, and I stress, extremely rare. Please do not go panicking if you scratch your face. As always, please let me know if you have any experiences with this. I know it's extremely rare if you're happy to share. Strawberry, I don't like this one. I don't like strawberry flavor. Um, please let me know in the comments. Mm, it's a good lip balm though. Let me know in the comments down below. You can watch the full When Beauty Turns Ugly playlist here, some general light entertainment here, and I'll see you over there.